Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Frederick back to the channel and welcome back to another Legacy of the Duelist video. It's a goddamn miracle. We finally found some people playing public matches. Um, first time I've done public, uh, non-ranked games in a while. Uh, before I go into this duel, sorry about not posting any duel links so far this week. Obviously, I would have done some matches trade yesterday. And I said in my last Legacy of the video, this would be that I would be doing... Um, uh, Duel Links next, and I didn't, so sorry for that. Duel Links will be tomorrow. Uh, I just got some course work to finish up tonight, so Legacy Duel is the quickest thing for me to record and upload. However, let's see. Right. So, we could summon Armageddon Knight and drop a Malicious. Um, however,. Um, I'm not too sure if I really want to do that just yet, because then he's only useful for one summon. Whereas if I can uh, draw Destiny Draw and put him in the graveyard, then he's worth two summons, if that makes sense. So we'll, uh, we'll start with Diamond Dude, I think. He's down Dude's effect, and hopefully we'll draw a spell card, can we? It is Dark Magic Curtain. Nice. Uh, good, good spell card. Let's attack that face down here. Skalengul. Okay, so is Paddy Reds using a fairy deck? So supply score's really fucking good. Uh, it's a it is a really good uh, card for just gaining additional draw power. Especially when something like Pot of Greed isn't okay, there you go, now he's got two, so now he's gonna draw two cards whenever a monster I control is destroyed by a card effect. See if that's another Skalengul. Ooh, Swords of Revealing Light. Okay. We can now activate that from our graveyard. So is this gonna this is gonna take half my life points off, isn't it? It is, I think. Or So Diamond Dude removes the cost. That's pretty cool. He's done this for the end. We'll see if we draw a spell card. We don't, we drew to Armageddon Knight, so that now gets sent to the bottom of the deck, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, place it on the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm trying to think, like, this deck I really should have put some uh, some rank 4s in here. We could go summon a monk, which would uh, let us go for... Actually, let... Let's play Armageddon Knight and use his ability to drop... Um, We're gonna drop our second dark mag. Hmm. No, we're, we're gonna drop malicious. I know I said I wasn't going to, um, but I'm a little worried. If you saw my last rank duel, but uh, I've got Sage Stone in this deck, so if I end up do getting dark magician got out on the field, um, which I technically, literally, I could draw into Sage Stone right now, play Sun and Monk, use discard Sun Doom to go for Prisma and then you know use its effect to do some work. Unfortunately <laughs> it's now a bit irrelevant again we use Dumb Dude's effect just to see what we can get Silent Doom again. Really didn't want that in the graveyard but we're going to end. Um, I kinda do again I like I said before I do wish I had some Xyz cards so I can get rid of that Swords of Inlight so we'd attack into those two cards. Um, if I get Oh dear lord. That's not what we wanted. Um, okay. However, we do have certain doom. So in that regard, it's very useful that this got put into um, into the graveyard. Again, we're just going to end because I want our swords to go. Now, knowing my luck, he's going to play another Swords, um, but then I can use Summon a Monk to discard Dark Magic Curtain, which would let me get... Yeah, like, you see? What is that? See, that, that face down card as well is really... Um... Right, okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Rotor into Prisma. That's what we want, we want Prisma. He's... Um... 
super 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 duper cool. Um, okay, right. Let's play summon a monk. Goes to the fence. We'll use its effect to ditch out dark magic curtain so we can summon out diamond dude. Again, you might be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, why not? And I'm putting defense mode just in case that face down card is a mirror force because um, I don't really. Dungeon goal? Okay, fine. That's okay. Um, not gonna lie, just realized I've screwed up a little bit. So we're gonna end on that. Um, we're not gonna summon out damage because, like, again, I thought Sun Doom would revive an attack position, but it doesn't. This duel might be very long, it's already six minutes long, and none of us have taken life point damage. He's definitely waiting for me to attack. Um, uh, okay, Dumb Dude's effect again. If we Sage of Stone. Good, that's what we wanted. Um, we can now. Summon Prisma. Yeah. We're going to attack with Prisma. That was his original Mirror Force. Okay, yep. I knew that was coming. Fine, okay. I'm, I'm glad that I anticipated that Mirror Force. He could just have like. That's got to be another mirror force, surely. Ooh. Okay, right. Diamond Deuce effect is going to activate. I... Oh, shit. Did I just screw up the order of that? I think I might have done. Did I? No, I didn't. Thank God for that. Okay, Sage Stone is going to let us get Dark Magician from our deck. Let's summon that. Um... See, let's just see. Alright, so Amulet Dragon will give us Star Magician after it's destroyed. Whereas Star Magician Girl would let us destroy one face up card. Okay, um, I want to put that to attack. Use Eye of Tamias on the Dark Magician to summon Amulet Dragon purely because obviously when he's destroyed, and if he's destroyed with the effect of um, Mirror Force, then we're all good. We're not going to banish any. Then again, let's just banish. Let's banish all of his. We could have made Amulet Dragon kind of ridiculously powerful, but I do honestly think that Face and Cards can be Mirror Force. It is. So may I probably shouldn't have put Diamond Dude in attack mode. However, Amulet Dragon's effects can activate, which is going to allow us to get Dark Magician back from... Let's use that one, because it is the fusion material. Um, just in case it causes any issues, because we are going to be able to bring one back next turn, thanks to uh, Swing of Memories. Oh no. Okay. I see where the still's gonna go now. Oh, that face down as well. That's gonna be another mirror force. What a troll deck. Oh no, it's Jar of Greed. Okay, let's play up start. Yes! Right, Geki. <laughs> and there was a Spirit Reaver as well. He is going to get to draw two cards. However, I'm... Um, I'm certain we're going to deal him a lot of damage this turn, so... We will summon Dark Magician out. We 
we will play Armageddon Knight. Don't really want to send something to the graveyard. Um, I know I probably should. So that's going to be 5,000, 6,400. I will leave it at that. I think that's a good amount to attack with. Okay. Now we're going to end. That dungeon has gone. That's fine. He's now got seven cards in his hand and he could have drawn into... Okay, Upstart Goblin is going to draw one card, give me a thousand points, so I'm now back up to eight thousand. He could be running Exodia as well, to be fair. One face down card is probably going to be Marshmallow. Um, or Spirit Reaper or something. So... Let's... Right. Don't you got the Dragon Knight. Once per turn, do you players turn? You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then type one face of card on the field, destroy that target. That's pretty darn good. So let's let's do that. Let's use Summon Monks, of Monk, summon monks Effect to discard Sun and Doom. We'll get that Prisma. Uh, some Prisma in attack mode. He's not going to be here for long because we're going to be using his effect. Um, we're going to be trading him in for Dark Magician Girl. Which means we can then use the Eye of Tamias and obviously make sure that I don't go for Dark Magician. Uh, we can go for Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Now, I need to play this correctly. To basically... Do I even need to? No, I don't. Okay, right. Um, no, not yet. We'll go to battle. We will attack the face down with Dark Magician. Nope. Nope. Okay. I was honestly expecting something a little bit like he could just pull a Karibo out as well to be fair, or a Battle Fader or something. Uh, those are fine. They can. They can all chain and activate. Okay, go to Deep Diva and Skull Angle to draw two, and then obviously Supply Squad gets him another two. However, if this goes through, then we win. Please go through. There we go. First win on Legacy the Duelist. Um, non ranked duel in a while, actually. A pretty long video. Um, so it might be out a bit later than usual, but thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe if you do feel like sharing this Facebook, Twitter, like, absolutely fantastic, there will be a Duel Links video out tomorrow, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.